Leaked German security documents have shown the country doesn't trust the new Windows 8 system, fearing it provides the NSA with remote access. That's according to one of the country's newspapers, although the German government denies it. And earlier reports indicated the country was a major target for US intelligence. Let's remind you how much data the NSA collected there. So it's been more active in Germany than in any other EU state, targeting up to half a billion data connections every month. Phone calls, emails, mobile phone messages and web chat logs. All of that data eventually made its way to the NSA headquarters in Washington. Berlin apparently allows this. As Snowden's leaks indicate, they work with the NSA, no questions asked. And on a regular day, up to 30 million German connections are watched and that could double during particularly busy times. How much and how exactly is the average citizen affected by this? Artist Peter Oliver finds out. Should the average person be concerned about their online information being stored by security services? You can analyze a person's social graph as it's called, so you will know with whom this person is in contact with and you will be able to identify all the communication partners and also the type of communication, so how often and also in respect to events. In Germany, the country's highest court ruled that storing data on citizens was unconstitutional. However, leaked documents show very close ties between the German BND and the NSA, with information on Germans being passed from one to the other, all in the name of security, says the woman at the top. It's impossible to have security without inconveniences. Those involved in data protection say these inconveniences have now gone too far. We had some suspicions that such a scheme was in place, but not the, the, the sheer, the mere extent of this regular and, and uh, un, unwarranted and disproportionate uh, measures that are taking place, taken place by uh, foreign intelligence services. And we definitely need limits and effective and transparent controls. The major worry for the individual is that a system that we are told is there to protect society is being used to keep an indiscriminate eye on what we do online. The system is not uh, like working for law enforcement. This is not about catching drug dealers. This is about taking all of our communication and allowing to identify our communication behaviour. It's fairly common practice for an employer to check out a prospective employee on social networks to find out more about who they are about to hire. However, the level of information gathered by security services is in a different league entirely. With this level of information, you could see exactly who people call and email on a regular basis. Say that's a doctor, the employer may think, this guy's going to have too many sick days and go elsewhere using information that's supposed to be confidential. On social networking sites like Facebook, people freely give away information about themselves. But long after you've clicked like on a web page or even search for something online, that information follows you like a shadow. They will know what you have been in the last three, four or five years, maybe what you have been interested in uh, through all the time. Uh, you might not even remember yourself what you have been looking on Google, but the system will know. Peter Oliver, RT, Berlin.